Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to set up and why to set up a sales tax group. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and let's jump right into this. Okay, so first of all, I want to explain what a sales tax group is. All right, so depending on where you are, you know, sales tax is different in every state, uh, every locality, every jurisdiction. Uh, some places have uh, a state sales tax, uh, some have a local sales tax, a city sales tax, uh, you name it. Okay, so just it all depends on where you live and what the sales taxes are. Okay, now in some circumstances, you're going to have two different sales taxes you need to charge on one invoice or sales receipt. Okay, so it could be a state and a local sales tax. And so the question arises, okay, well, how do I charge both of these on an invoice or a sales receipt in QuickBooks because it just gives me this one option. I can set up a sales tax item, charge the sales tax, and that's it. Okay, but I need to do both. All right, so that's where a sales tax group comes in. All right, so let us let me show you how to set this up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our item list. Okay, so list, item list right here. And if you look, okay, we've got all our different items. We've got service, inventory, et cetera. And then we've got different sales tax. Okay, so we have sales tax items down here. And these are, you know, already set up in the sample file. And you'll see there's also a sales tax group. Okay, so this is already set up. All right, so we want to set up a new one. Okay, so we're going to go to item. We're going to go to new. And you'll see here, one of the options here is sales tax group. Okay, so before you can set up the sales tax group, you have to set up your individual sales tax items. Okay, and when I say individual sales tax items, what I mean is you're going to have to set up the, you know, the state sales tax, the local sales tax, uh, every individual single sales tax that you're going to have to charge for. Uh, you're going to have to set that up individually as a sales tax item before you can set up the sales tax group. Okay, so that's the first step. All right. Now, I'm not walking through how to set up the sales tax item. In this video, just the sales tax group. Okay. All right. So we want to uh, select sales tax group. And you'll see here, here's what it says. Okay, you got to name this. So we're going to name this um, state and local sales tax okay description um you know for this one you know you would put in a description i'm just going to say state and local sales tax yours might be um you know the the state you're in plus the locality you're in sales tax all right Okay, so down here we've got this table and we're going to select the tax item. Okay, so this is going to be the group that we're adding to this. So what we're going to say is we're going to say that San Domingo, okay, which you'll see here the sales tax item, which we have already, which has already been set up. Uh, go ahead. It goes ahead and populates uh, these fields here. And then we're going to say that we also want East Bayshore. Okay, so that's a city tax and a city sales tax. So the group rate combined is 7.8%. All right, so all we have to do now is click OK. And now we have a new sales tax group set up that says state and local sales tax. Sales tax group, 7.8%. So now when we have to create an invoice, let's say that we go and we say customers create invoice, and this could be a sales receipt, an invoice, it's going to be the same. Okay. So let's just pick somebody. We'll say, uh, Wilma Nelson. All right. We're going to choose a, a class, new construction. Let's say that she gets blue prints. Okay, and we're going to do 10 of these. All right, and we're going to change this to taxable. Let's just assume this is a taxable sale. All right, so down here now we see the tax, but you'll see that your sales tax group now shows up. All right, so if we click this, you'll see now it's 7.8%. So now what it's doing is it's charging that state sales tax plus that local sales tax we set up. 
right? So then we would collect this and then pay it in like normal with sales tax. All right, so those are the basics of how to set up a sales tax group. Again, you're gonna use this when you've got uh, two sales tax or more, could be three, could be more, uh, sales tax jurisdictions that are gonna be charging sales tax on an individual sale for your business. You need to collect both of them. And so you need to group these together so it shows up as one on an invoice. And it will separate this so that when you go to pay it at the end of the month, uh, it, it'll separate these out to show that one's going to one jurisdiction and one's going to another jurisdiction. All right. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Got a great, great group of members over there. Uh, members are people that buy the, uh, purchase the tutorials and it's a lifetime um, membership. One-time fee, no additional fees, and I also answer personal questions. Head on over there, qbuniversity.org.